Great, you can help the struggling company of Apple by giving them 400 buckaroos for an Apple Watch. Or you can spend $3 on a McDonald's Happy Meal and receive one of their incredibly smart watches. Of course, the smartest of them all. But I think I found the perfect happy medium. This is the Garmin Forerunner 35 Runner's Watch. It retails for around 130 bucks on Amazon and it can do most of the things that the high-end smartwatches do but without breaking the bank. I use this watch mostly for running and just like the Apple Watch, it can give you splits, pace, and of course heart rate, which is helpful whether you are a workout junkie or an avid Fortnite player, or both. Your statistics sync with the Mobile Connect app, available on iOS and Android, and you can of course see past runs and records, but also some important health data, including a step counter and a bunch of other stuff you will probably never need. So how is this different than anything like an Apple Watch? Well, one look at this thing and you have the answer. It's plastic cheap and the screen is only black and white with a resolution of sub 200 pixels. Definitely not ideal for viewing pictures and videos. But unlike the Apple Watch, its UI is navigated using four buttons, which I actually prefer over Apple Watch's touch screen. If it's wet, you can't use the touch screen anyways, so the four button UI works very well for me. Especially since, like the Apple Watch, the Garmin Forerunner 35 is waterproof up to 15 meters, which is useless on touch screen watches. So if this watch doesn't track swimming, or a lot of the things that the Apple Watch does. Regardless, this watch is really built for runners and it also tracks biking, but anyone can find some decent use out of it. You can get notifications on your watch, just like on the Apple Watch, and using the app, you can view past heart rate data. And you can get frequent move alerts, also like the Apple Watch, and using the app, you can see that heart rate data. My favorite part about this watch, though, is definitely the battery life. Unfortunately, it charges using a proprietary clip, but with just about an hour of charge, this guy lasts 13 hours in GPS mode and can last days, even weeks, without GPS on, because as you can see, even if there isn't a very big battery in this guy, which there's not, there really isn't much to run on this watch. It's just a screen that shows you the time. No crazy widgets or anything like that, so the battery lasts for as long as you could possibly need it. Like, you guys saw all those vacation vlogs that I posted. I brought the charger on that trip, but I didn't have to charge my watch once because I wasn't using the GPS because I was doing all treadmill runs. So overall, is this smart-ish watch actually worth it? Well, if you want some of the features of the Apple Watch, such as workout tracking and GPS, then for sure this guy is a steal. But if you're buying a smartwatch really more for the looks, this guy definitely isn't a piece of jewelry, unlike some of those Apple Watch additions that are gold and come with the Louis Vuitton bands. I mean, no, this guy's just a piece of plastic. But it does everything you should need it to do if you're buying a smartwatch for all of the right reasons. And it's definitely a useful tool and good middle ground in the world of wearables. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this Garmin watch. Is it worth it? Or should you pay three times more for an Apple watch? I took a poll from you guys asking what you thought about the topic. Would you ever consider buying a smartwatch at all or anything other than an Apple watch? And a surprisingly high amount of you said that you would either buy nothing or an Apple watch and wouldn't even consider something like a Fitbit Garmin or even an Android watch. So hopefully this video will help you change your mind. But either way, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to click over here to check out some of my latest videos and click down here to subscribe. I will see you next time. I'm Jack. Peace.